Hi friends, welcome to SPG Learning. In this video, we are going to learn personal profile creation using Android GUI components dynamically. Dynamically means no design creation that is no XML part only implementation code creation in Java GUI components in Android GUI components are used to design interactive user interface and also makes better user interaction with various views and view groups. The 10 major Android components are Number 1. Text view Display the text Edit text. It allows the user to enter some text. Button represents push buttons. It provides the action when the button is pressed. Image button. A button with image performs same operation like button. Toggle button displays on off that is the state of particular event. Radio button it allows the user to select one option that is only one time from the set. Checkbox it is similar to radio button but allows the user to select the options more time. Spinner view. It provides a quick way to select one value from a set of alternatives. It is like a drop down box. Progress bar. It represents the computing of the task that is a progress. List view. It groups several scroll views that is several items and display them in vertical scrollable list. Let's see the design part. This image shows our personal detail using all the GUI Android components. These are the various text view buttons. These are various edit text. This is image view. I forgot to represent the image view definition. Image view means displays an image from the given source. This icon represents the image button. The calendar on is uh, nothing but a toggle button. These are option button that is radio button. This is checkbox. This one is spinner view. And this is list view. And the same is a button. And last, this one is a progress bar. Let us design this with the help of Java code. First, open Android Studio. It will take a while and go to File, New, New Project. Then specify the application name as Personal Details GUI and click Finish button. 
it shows two files xml and java file we are not going to do anything in the design file that is in xml let's move to java code in that first we have to comment the content view line so that we can do all the views and view groups that is our personal detail work in dynamic we are going to use the relative layout for this design because relative layout is used to position the views according to the others at last we are going to use a scroll view so that we will get all the views in a single frame okay first we are going to add the relative layout first declare the relative layout with layout name this is a parent layout now declare the parameter variable to specify the various parameters of the layout the variable name is params then create a child layout that is row in relative layout let us assign the parameters using the set layout parameter method for the rows first set the outer layout parameters that is width and height of the layout here we are using with this wrap content which takes the length of the values in the layout wraps its content and we are assigning height as match parent which takes the entire screen for the values Now we are going to add one text view to specify the heading for our profile details. First we have to initialize the text view because we are going to do it in a dynamic manner. So first we have to specify one variable tv1 for the text view and then we have to specify the text personal detail and we are going to use padding to space the text inside the text view that is position the personal detail text inside the text view then we are going to set the background color as green and now we are going to position it in the layout with the help of params the values for both the height and width are wrap content Now we have to set the left margin to 300 so as to fix this personal detail in some center. This margin is used to space the outside view, position the outside. Then we have to give the top margin that is 10. So we specified all the attributes. Let us fix it in our child view with the help of add view method. and the parameters are tv1 comma params now we are going to add one image in the right side corner of our screen so first we have to initialize the image with the help of iv and we are going to position it with the help of params we need to set both the values width and height as match parent now specify the source for that we have to paste the image under the drawable folder then specify the integer positioning and some id and then fix the image source then resize the image with the help of layout parameters 230 230 so that it will be fixed correctly in the right corner and also specify the left margin as 800 and the top which is more or less nearer to the previous text view 10 let us fix it in our child view with the help of add view method Now we are going to specify the name that is name and enter the name values. So first we need a text view. So we are initializing text view with variables. 
so we are going to copy and paste the above value which we specified for the personal detail and we are going to change the left margin as 10 and the background color to cyan and text as name and we will fix it in our child view row let's add one edit text to get the value of the name from the user for that we have to create one variable under edit text view we have to set the various field like set int background color as gray and the parameters for width and height as wrap content and the left margin as 300 to position the text view accordingly we have to change the top margin of the text view to 100 Now copy and paste the text view and edit text to get the father's name and just change the text value of the text view to father's name and change the top margin to 220. Now move to edit text to here change the top margin to 240 and change the int value to enter father's name. Now again paste the text view and edit view to one more time to get the mail id in the text view. Change the text to mail id and top margin to 320. And in edit text, change the int to enter mail id and top margin to 340. Now again paste the text and edit text one more time. And change the text to contact number and top margin to 440. And also in edit text, change the int to enter contact number and the top margin to 420. Now we just test our app. For that click the run button. But in the emulator we did not get any views. This is because we have used lots of view in relative layout. To get all the views in a single time we need to specify scroll view. That is why we are not getting. So let's add scroll view in the last. The scroll view with variable sc and the corresponding header file need to be added. Then we have to set the layout parameters with width as match parent, height as wrap content. And we have to set the fill view port as true. And we have to add the view of our child layout row. Then we have to link this SC scroll view to our parent layout. Then we will be getting all this with the help of the set content view method with the layout parameter. Now run the app again. Now we are getting the added views till now. So let us add the remaining. Now again paste the same set to get that is change the contact numbers to DOB and click icon. And again one more text view for age value change the values accordingly. Now run the app, we are getting the values which we have entered. Now we are going to add one image button and toggle button that is to click the date of birth 
from the user we are going to add one calendar by clicking the image button and we are using a toggle button to disappear the calendar let's do this now add a date picker with a variable dp and add the parameter values for width and height we are going to set the width and height both the values to wrap content now let us assign the top margin to 500 so that it will be displayed near our dob edit text and also set the left margin to 10 now we are going to add it with the parameter of our child layout row now add the image button with variable ib and set the image source with the help of set image source method and copy and paste the image of calendar from the path to the drawable folder by clicking the explore then set the parameter for the calendar to some specific size because it will be fit according and set the left margin to 450 and the top margin to 500 so as it is available next to our date of birth edit text view now add this image button with a child view row with the parameter now we are going to to make the calendar visibility disappear set the view value to gone and now we are going to add a toggle button with the variable tb to switch on the calendar by clicking it and also switch off after specify the data date of birth the toggle button text value is we have to set calendar on and uh, the parameter of this toggle button we are going to use the width and height as both wrap content and to position it we, we specify the left margin to 700 top margin to 500 so as to be it is fit next to our image button now we add this to the child view row with the specific parameter now we are going to add the gender field for that copy and paste the text view and change the variable to tba and set text value to gender and we position by changing the top and left margin to get the gender value from the user we are going to use the checkbox view for that add a checkbox view with a variable cb1 and specify the values first first cb1 first checkbox the text value is male and we have set the parameter values and left margin to 200 top margin to 750 and we place it in our child view, child layout. And copy and paste this checkbox once again to place the second checkbox. And change the variable to CB2. Change the left margin position 400 and CB2 to row. And only and text to female it is placed. So let's check this. It is added in our app. Now we copy and paste the text view again to get the nationality. Change the variable to TV9 and change the other fields and text to nationality. To get the nationality from the user, we are going to use radio button view. First we assign the radio button variable Then set text value of first radio button RB1 as Indian And we set the other parameters That is layout parameter left top margin Copy and paste it from the above text view 
and just change the positions add it to the child view now again copy and paste the above radio button and just change the variable to rb2 and the text value to others and place it in the child layout now to get the city of the person first copy and paste the text view to specify the label city change the variable to tv10 text view 10 and the city text set text to city and change the top margin value to 950 and place it in our child layout row to get the city we are going to use the spinner view that is drop down box for that use one variable sp1 for a spinner then in that copy and paste the parameters layout parameter from the above one and just change the values for the spinner view we need one array we have named it as city names here we have used five different cities that is four city names and one other option to display in the drop down box then to get the values in the spinner view we are again use the array adapter class with the object array adapter and specify the object with this comma android r dot layout simple spinner item and city names attribute now we add this to the spinner sp1 with the help of the method set adapter of array adapter i did one mistake we need to change the nationality value i changed now let's run the app to check the nationality and the city it is working now to add the obbies copy and paste the text view change the variable name to tv11 and change the top margin value and change the text to obbies to get the obbies from the user we are going to use the list view for that we assign one list view variable lv1 to specify the list item we are using the string array we have given three hobbies then use list string value to get the values into the array list of our list elements after that by using the array adapter class with object adapter we assign it to the activity with the parameter main activity dot this and r dot layout dot simple list item 1 and we added our list element array list variable of the list then set the values with lv1 for that use set adapter lv1 dot set adapter of adapter After that to set it into our layout that is child layout row we copy and paste the parameter values and top margin to 1020 and change the height to 700 700 to specify some height for our list so that it will be fit in the layout and finally we add it to our child layout row with the help of add view now add a button to save the details for that use the button view with the variable but one and set the text to save details and copy and paste the parameters and change the left margin to 300 top margin to 1400 and we set it into our layout row now we are going to add one progress bar to show the status of saving for that we are using the variable pb1 in that we need to specify the progress bar type we are going to use the horizontal progress bar from the attr value of r to 
set the parameters copy and paste it from the above and change the left margin to 0 top margin to 1500 then we need three more important parameters variable that is width of the progress bar long one so i have used the width 2200 and we set it with the our child layout then uh, we specify the intermediate state to true and in the beginning we no need the progress bar after pressing the button only we need the progress bar so that we are going to set the visibility to invisible let's check our app it is working but we have the hobbies and the values of the list items are merged so we need to change the left margin of the list view to 300 let's check again it's working now we are going to add three click event functions for the three various buttons that is image button toggle button and button that is which is used for save purpose first we are going to add a click event for image button which is used for displaying the calendar First we are going to add the click event for image button calendar by pressing this button we are going to get a calendar from that we are going to choose a date of birth of a person First for that we have to make invisible of the below views with the help of set visibility function as invisible so we are going to make all the 5 text views and the age value edit text and a button saved and a list value and 2 check boxes and 2 radio buttons and a spinner drop down view to invisible. Then we are going to set the toggle button text to calendar on and dp set value to visible that is we are going to make visible of our date picker view. Then to get a date in a corresponding edit text that is edit text 5 the date of birth of the person we first get the values of day in a day string and a month in a month string variable and year in a year string variable we concoordinate all these values using the concoordination operator plus in java and we assigned by it in edit text file with the help of set text method similarly to add the click event for toggle button tb in the toggle button we are going to set the date picker view as invisible and the calendar on toggle button text to calendar off and the values which we set invisible by clicking the image button all the values we are going to set visible so that we will fill the personal details of a person So that's that's all in this method. Then we are going to add a click event for save button. By clicking the save button, we will be getting the progress bar. Then first we have to get the visibility of the progress bar. We are getting that value in the visibility variable and we are going to use the conditional statement. That is if the given condition is satisfied, we are going to that is visible is gone. Then we have to set the progress bar visible to visible. Otherwise we will do the opposite work that is we set the visible to gone. Then get the visibility and assign it to the progress bar with the help of set visibility method. Then we are going to change the string that is text specified in the button. In the beginning we set the text value for the button is save detail. For that we are going if the visibility is gone then we get we are going to set the string value that is the text specified in the button to thank you and save. And we set that to button 1 with the help of set text method. Now we are going to run our application. The name field that is the text view is not near with the edit text. So we change the top margin of this text view. Okay, we changed it. Let's run the app. We are going to fill all the fields. 
by clicking the image button calendar we are getting the calendar in that calendar you can change and the user can set the date of birth after clicking the date of birth the date of birth is available in the edit text file then we are going to set the toggle button by clicking the toggle button the calendar visibility is gone and all the other fields are visible now we fill the other remaining details we are going to set some age and the gender nationality city which is available in the spinner view we can choose it obviously we already specified in the list view which is displayed now clicking the save details button we are getting the progress bar and again clicking the button we get the information thank you and saved so our personal detail gui app in the form of dynamic creation is worked successfully Thank you.